All right, so today is January 7th, 2021. I'm going to be taking the next 30 days to conduct a little experiment here, known as threat hunting. In today's video, what we're gonna be doing is setting up an SSH honeypot, and we're gonna be listening for open connections on port 22, the default SSH port, and we're gonna be logging that information to see who logs into our cloud server, as well as you know where they're connecting from in terms of IP addresses and what type of passwords and usernames they use. So before I actually collect the results, I actually have to you know set it up 30 days before, and that is what I'm gonna be doing. So let's go ahead and get this set up and started. All right, so here in front of me, I have my Linode dashboard up, and I'm happy to announce that today's video has been sponsored by Linode. I appreciate Linode for sponsoring and giving me this opportunity and platform to conduct experiments like this. If you guys are interested in conducting similar experiences or hosting your own servers for very cheap prices or for free, you can go ahead and click the link in the description or on the screen here right now to go ahead and look at Linode. Anyway, let's go ahead and transition into our Linode dashboard. And here, as you can see, I already have a uh, Linode or a Ubuntu server running up here. So for with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and SSH into my Linode server here. I'm just gonna give you a basic walkthrough of what I did to set up this SSH honeypot. So once I'm up here on my local host and logged in or SSH'd in, as you can see in front of me, I have uh, two things. First, my script that is actively listening for uh, SSH connections on port 22, as well as this folder directory. And this is the open source tool I am using. Uh, it is called PH, you know, you get the name. But basically this is a lightweight fake SSH honeypot that listens on port 22. You're gonna see one command that I am actively running right now, and that is basically taking the passwords and putting them in a JSON file. And it's gonna be, of course, listening on port 22 as that is the default SSH port. So once I run that listening script, uh, there's going to be a new file which is generated and that is passwords.json. So if we go ahead and cap the contents of password.json, you're already gonna see a whole bunch of attempted passwords being logged in here. Also to mention, I had to switch up the default SSH port. It's often a standard practice to go ahead and do that already, uh, but I went ahead and do that by going into the Etsy SSH, SSHD config uh, path directory here and and if we use the Vim text editor, we can go ahead and designate our default SSH port. In this case, I just used 5323. Uh, you can use any port number, uh, you know, within a reasonable range. So here we are, we're gonna be conducting uh, this experimentation for the next 30 days. I did set this up earlier this afternoon. I'm gonna be leaving also in the description uh, how you can do this experiment itself in an article below uh, that I wrote that just quickly, briefly goes through each of these steps. So let's fast forward 30 days and see what the results are and see what we can collect. Okay, so it is 30 days later, more like 60 days in the time of recording this. I let the SSH honeypot run for 30 days and now it's time to shut off the machine and go ahead and collect the log files. Okay, so here in front of me, I have the passwords.json log file, which contains all the log entries uh, recorded throughout the 30-day time period. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this information uh, and go ahead and parse the JSON. Before parsing the JSON file, I had to pull it into my local machine. So I went ahead and used the secure copy or SCP command line utility to pull from the remote node machine into my local Windows computer. I opened the JSON file with Notepad++. Finally, I used commands grep, sort, and unique, as well as a Python script to organize and collect all of the information. All right, so it's a couple hours later. I went ahead and parsed the JSON log file. And in front of me, I have some text files which have the important information regarding the passwords, source IPs lists, and just some other top 10 lists. So with that being said, let's go ahead and analyze the results with the recorded honeypot for the last 30 days. All right, so after collecting and parsing through the log file, I was able to find some interesting trends within the files. So let's go ahead and start with the collection dates. I started the collection of information on January 6th and turned off the collection on February 6th of 2021. Interestingly, the log attempts stopped on the 25th of January. I'm not sure why. Throughout the three days of the honeypot being powered on and the 20 days of collection, there were 99,804 login attempts on the default SSH port 22. 
Now, I'm not able to show the source IP addresses, but I can show you the geographical location of where these IP addresses originated from. I went ahead and used an online website to look up the top 10 IPs. After graphing login attempt information based on the source IP address and the number of attempts, the source IP address coming from China was 9 out of the top 10 countries. The other country was Cambodia. So most likely all of these top 10 IPs are bots and have massive password lists contained within them. The top source IP overall was a China-based host had over 18,000 tried attempts and Cambodia's source IP had 990 tried attempts. In addition to collecting IP information, we can also take a look at the passwords which were being used to attempt the logins. The top 10 passwords were the following. Password test had the largest number of attempts totaling 4,037 or making up 4.04% of the total attempts. The other ones were pretty standard, such as admin, root, or tor. These are all default passwords for various types of services. Interestingly, the second most popular password was very random, with 3,897 or 3.9% of the total attempts logged in. When looking up this exact password on Google search, I couldn't find any particular source of where this password originated from. I did find another article conducting the same experience with an SSH honeypot, and the individual found something of very similar results with this password. If any of you know where the password comes from, let us know in the comments down below. Also, here's something very interesting. Out of the passwords, dbuda was attempted once. That must mean the word is getting around and is being applied to password lists. Okay, only joking. This was my first attempt uh, when I was just testing out the log file. So some very interesting results here with the SSH honeypot. If any of you are interested in different results with the same experiment, I will leave a link to another article which has some good graphs and information. All right, so that's it for today's video. Hopefully you have found this helpful in some way. I sure have through conducting this experiment. Once again, if you guys are interested in conducting a similar experiment, or you are trying to do some different home lab and you don't want to virtualize on your own computer, go check out Linode using the link in the description below. That's it for the, today's video. Hopefully everything is going well and have a good day.